of you something really interesting. I want to talk about an interesting program, TV program, meant to educate kids. And it's related with fairy tales. First of all, thank you for subscribing to my channel and supporting me. Today, I want to do something different from my usual videos. I want to do something positive about the Japanese culture and the Japanese TV. This TV program, it airs once a week and you can also find the online website. This website, actually, it's really interesting because it's related with fairy tales. What is this meant for? This program is called the Fairy Tales Court because they analyze the fairy tales in a legal way. Now, it might be confusing for a kid, but it's actually a really positive thing. We all know and remember when we were kids that our parents and grandparents will tell us stories, will read us those fairy tales before we go to sleep. And those fairy tales, those stories were meant for them to teach us in a really simple way what is good and what is bad, what to do and what not to do. But at the same time, this story will teach us to judge things really superficially if you think carefully about that. Those stories have always a hero and a villain, but in the real life it's not so simple to decide. This is why this program is really interesting. First of all, this program is an educational program. Because of coronavirus actually they stopped this production, but you can find many other stories I will show you immediately how. First of all, we have some common to all of us stories and fairy tales from when we were a child. The Pretty Little Pigs, Hansel and Gretel, The Red Riding Hood, or however it's called, and of course there are some Japanese ones. Personally, I never ever heard of the crab and the monkey story. Let's start with the Pretty Little Pigs. So, on this website we have this story. We are starting with the Pretty Little Pigs. On the left, we have the screen with what was going on on air on TV and it's basically um, the presentation of the court. On the right, we have this recap of what is going on in the scene because it's all in Japanese. Of course, there is not an English version, so it's only in Japanese, but hey, why don't you teach your child Japanese? Anyway, they always start with what was happening in the real story. After making a brainstorm of what is going on, we see that there is a judge. Of course, since it's a real-like court, we have lawyers, judges, and also witnesses. So everyone is giving their own point of view. It's not only attacking the wolf that is important for the pig, but it's also attacking the pig from the wolf's mother because she is defending her own son and accusing the pig of murder. So there are many real life elements to see and observe in this program. What is meant for this program is not only for a kid to understand what's right and what's wrong, but also to give a child the idea that every action has of course many reasons and motives to happen, but also consequences. So, for a pig that even if he's defending himself, there is a consequence. Not only is right for the pig to escape from the wolf and defend himself, but in case of killing the wolf, there are consequences and judgments to take in consideration. I know it might be a bit confusing, especially for a child, but fairy tales are not the real life. You can't just say someone is a villain and the other one is a hero. Someone did it right and the other did it wrong because you need to motivate your answer. You need to prove what you're saying is correct and you also need to listen opinions and have a more complex judgment on the situation. This program is pretty interesting because it's forming small 
young mind into adult. Not immediately, of course, but gives the child a perspective on how complicated is life, on the fact that every action has a consequence, so they must be really careful before judging a scene, before judging an action, before judging someone. Another important thing to see on this website, if you're curious to check, is that there is an open discussion page. All the stories have this page where you need to say if you agree or disagree with the judgment or if you agree or disagree with the pigs, in this case, point of view. And why? Because they are stimulating the young children to have an opinion but also justify why they think like that, give a reason why they think like that. It's not just putting labels, it's not just saying, oh, he's bad, he's good, oh, he did it right or wrong, but why? And it's a really interesting discussion to have. It forms really young minds to have discussion and opinions and also to understand others' point of views and not only ours. If you think about that, this kind of program is not treating child as a child. Of course, we are not talking about three years old, but we are talking about really young students, elementary students. At that age, they are curious to learn more and more about the world and the society and how things work. So treating them with respect and also as young adults sometimes will give them a really benefic point of views on the society and the life and it's going to be easier for them to have conversation, opinions and also point of views and understanding on what someone else is experiencing and thinking. If you scroll the page, you will find these related keywords. And if you click on all tales, you have a bunch of stories, not only the one we all know, but Japanese ones, Momotaro for example, and if you keep scrolling, you will find even more and more Japanese fairy tales. Of course, it's not our country, so we might not know them either, so it's really interesting to see how those fairy tales are different or similar with ours. You can find, for example, Princess Kaguya or Hanasaka Jisa. They are really interesting. Of course, those programs are child-friendly, so if you wanna watch it with your children, just go ahead and enjoy. Thank you so much for watching me and watching my channel and subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for today as well. Thank you, see you, bye!